let's get started. Come on, customer's waiting. Here. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Young and Stuff. If it's your first time to the channel, thank you for joining us. Today, I'm going to talk about something that we all know and love, but haven't seen much of this past year. Food trucks! But before I do, if you like origin stories and little-known fun facts and sometimes other stuff, then you're in the right place because that's what I do. So click like on this video and subscribe to my channel. And while you're there, ring the bell for notifications so you get updates on all future episodes. Awesome. Let's go. Food trucks, or mobile food vendors, actually started well before motorized vehicles were even invented, in the form of push carts and chuck wagons. I'll start with chuck wagons, which most closely resemble food trucks of today and are said to be a direct predecessor. Chuck wagons followed cowboys on the trail and cooked and served breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Cooks, referred to as Cookie, like the cook in Beetle Bailey comics, woke up as early as 3 a.m. to prep the day's meals, from stoking fires to baking biscuits. And the wagons were actually specifically designed for food service. There were separate areas for storing pots, for washing up, and for food prep. Just like our modern trucks, but less advanced. Of course. Push carts were just as important, but served a different clientele. Oysters, clams, and cockles! Your oysters fresh. Best in the city. You wouldn't lie to an old man, would you? While chuck wagons were mainly used on the open trail, push carts were meant for urban use. They didn't have the ability to cook or heat up food, so they served fruits and sandwiches to people in large cities like New York and Chicago who were looking for a reasonable and convenient lunch. So when you think about it, the purpose of push carts was much closer to the purpose of food trucks today. Convenience. After the invention of the car, the first business to incorporate them into their business model were ice cream trucks in the 50s. Ice cream trucks really haven't changed much in appearance since their creation, including the catchy little jingles that you hear from a mile away, and you immediately start gathering and counting all the change you can find in the house just so you can get a Spider-Man ice cream with the gumball eyes. No? Was that just me? Okay. The 60s saw expansion in the industry, which led to larger trucks that pretty much look exactly like the ones we have today. Some of those original trucks are probably still roaming around stocking construction sites in back alleys. Now, although they were popular, they developed a less than stellar reputation for cleanliness, which unfortunately earned most food trucks the hard forgotten moniker of Roach Coaches. That didn't stop me though. I still ate at food trucks, or as they're known in my neck of the woods, taco trucks. Since the early 2000s, that reputation has all but completely disappeared as city planners started building parks specifically for food truck festivals and events. In 2010, there was another surge in popularity when the Food Network premiered a new show in its lineup called The Great Food Truck Race. They're revved up and ready to roll. Their hopes, dreams, and dirty dishes are on four wheels. Empowered by fire in their bellies, they're in it to win it. Join Tyler Florence for the great food truck race. It was an immediate success, and it still airs to this day. Everybody wanted a food truck. I still do. It's a bit of a dream of mine because I love to cook and barbecue. If you have a local food truck festival, you should check it out. Oh my god. The big pig is here. I didn't even get a tweet. You'll have some of the best food you'll ever taste. Here's a few you can check out if you're in the area in no particular order because they're all awesome and since there's so many I'll only give you a few. We'll start with my town. In Fresno, California you can try out Fresno Street Eats, Cart Hop, Gazebo Gardens and you can experience the taco truck throwdown and it is an experience. I once ate 22 tacos in the course of one baseball game. No regrets. Mm -hmm. Oh this? Uh -huh. That's my credo. No regrets. You have no regrets? Not even a single letter. No, no way. <laughs> Not me. To this day! To this day! 
In other places in the U.S., you can try the latest mobile cuisine in Pasadena, California at the L.A. Street Food Fest. Or you can go to Eat the Street in Oahu, Hawaii. Or how about the Taste of Three Cities Festival in Baltimore, Washington, D.C., and Philadelphia? Then there's the Columbus Food Truck Festival in Columbus, Ohio, the Chicago Food Truck Festival in Chicago, Illinois, the Atlanta Street Food Festival in Atlanta, Georgia, the Seattle Street Food Festival in Seattle, Washington, and lastly, the Street Eats Food Truck Festival in Scottsdale, Arizona. I think I found my calling. I'm going to come up with the next great festival, but it's not going to be lazily named a food truck festival. No. Oh. What do I call it? That's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to click like and subscribe to my channel. And while you're there, ring the bell for notifications so you get updates on all future episodes. Awesome. See you next time. Oh my gosh. A train already? I'm not even started yet. Ah. 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 And, mm, no, that was just me. And, mm, uh, three, uh, no, that was just me. Okay. Mm, Just say the line. I know. I'm there. I'm, I'm going to say the line. Just say the line as written. I know. I'm going to. Get off my back. Boogity boogity. Oh! <laughs> oh gosh. Ha 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 ha. Since the early 2000s. Oh, man. Gosh. <laughs> I do what that face. <laughs> Again. <laughs> got the giggles. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I can't say cuisine. <laughs> I can't believe I finally got through that.